Okay. Well, we are, folks. That is our rotating summer house from Monga's Architectural Salvage. Um, thought we'd give you a quick preview of the uh, of the show stand. Yeah, Sam and the team from Monga's have done a great job uh, putting together all of the uh, structures and hardware over the last week. And uh, yeah, there we are. <laughs> Sam and Louise there on the left. Uh, really pleased with how everything has come together. So. I'm just going to give you a quick, um, a quick uh, preview of what we've done and how the plants are looking. Uh, really, really pleased. Everything is looking so nice and fresh. Um, we've got this uh, gorgeous old uh, tank, uh, water tank here, which is a special occasion flowing out of the tap. And in the hidden behind there a little bit is a beautifully restored pump as well. Look at that. Oh, gorgeous tiger growing up there. So we've got quite a range of plants on the stand. There's, um, I think we've got nearly 60 different cultivars on the exhibit this year. Uh, really crammed full, <laughs> really crammed full, but at the same time we've managed to, to leave some of the railings open so you can see the structures and the supports and, um, and how we've actually put them on. So that's, um, that's quite important, so people can understand and see uh, you know, how, how you can actually achieve this at home. Uh, we've got a very important and significant poster here that's been loaned to us. This was the first uh, illustrated flower show poster that the RHS had done uh, for the uh, Chelsea Flower Show. You can see the date down there at the bottom. 1936. So that was the very first illustrated Chelsea Flower Show poster produced for the RHS. And uh, copies of that are available from uh, Monga's Architectural Salvage as well. So yeah, some wonderful plants here though. Look at these. Now I'm so pleased to have a netter or Anita. I think it's actually pronounced Anita. Uh, it just spelt slightly differently. Oh absolute cracker it's looking really good the flowers have come out perfectly for the show they went on here just as buds and they've opened out just in the last day or two you can see some here like you see those are just opening on the exhibit it means they're beautiful and fresh uh, ruby wedding stunning absolutely stunning look at that uh, yeah <laughs> I'm really impressed with that and how about this? Uh, what an appropriate name for Acclimatus. <laughs> this is Dazzle, and Dazzle really has caught the eye on this uh, outside corner here. People have been stopping and photographing this all day. I'm so pleased they've moved out of the way so that I can film it for you. Um, so Dazzle, yeah, very prolific. Flowers twice in the year, this flower in May, June, and then more flower in August and September. It's looking absolutely smashing, it really is. Uh, there we are, and that's Dazzle as well. So as it first comes out, a subtle, subtler colour as it first comes out, maturing to this, and then eventually fading out at the end. Very, very pretty though. Good old Josephine, you'll know from many years, a very popular Everson Clematis, Rococola, nice white there. Um, how about this? Just have a glance over here. An old uh, cattle, uh, no, sorry, an old milk churn. And then Jack Manii Papuria growing up through that. There we go. So looking down this side, um, a long piece of railing to our left, and then a, an old gate. We've managed to leave some of the small details visible. So the catch is just visible through there. And then another band of clematis. Fleury is always popular. This is new from Raymond Everson Corrine. Uh, we've been quite impressed with this. It's a very prolific clematis. And as it opens, it, it gives a, a very, very nice clear colour with that distinctive bar in the centre. Very prolific and gives good flower coverage too. 
Proteus has been around for years, but one of my favourites. I really do like Proteus a great deal. But what else have we got for you? Pilu here on the gate. And down in here, your water trolley and some of the pots and items that Sam has brought with him just to dress the stand and show it off. But the water bowser still works. It's, it works on its wheels and tips. But we've put in their tiger um, with a, a sort of wigwam of bamboos. So it's tiger. And then down here, Esme. Esme is another new Everson variety. Beautiful clear blue, but deeper. Slightly, slightly deeper bar. Right. So we're just going to move around. You can see here we've got beautiful glide. We'll go to the other side in a moment. We'll keep going around this way. Royalty, particularly important. It's relevant to our planting theme. So a royal celebration is the planting theme for the stand. So we have a lot of plants on here with royal connections, so royalty here. Um, of course, with Princess Kate, um, which uh, is looking great over the, over the dog kennel, or dog run. So, now this side has been particularly popular. Here we've got Charmaine growing with Bernadine. And this has drawn a huge amount of attention. As people walk up to this side of the stand, it really does stand out. It's quite stunning. Magnificent double. It holds its colour quite well as well. So you've got nice colour on it and it keeps that colour throughout the time the flower is on the plant. And then later in the summer, it will do a single flower for you. Who else here is new? Sacha. Oh, I should have shown you Bernadine there. So there's Bernadine. This is Bernadine. Um, absolutely beautiful. Um, long summer flowering. Starts in around May. Continues, well, fairly much non-stop through to September. You need to deadhead it to keep that flowering going. Sasha, quite impressed with that. It's got a nice healthy foliage as well. And then up the top are classic fond memories which we've had for years. There we are, so we carried on with Charmaine across the top of the railings over Pat Coleman and below Crystal Fountain. There we are. And as we come to the end of these railings, we've got a small gate. And then you can enter the stand. So Guests um, and public are invited to walk through the exhibit. They can actually walk through this path and into the exhibit. And this really is dressed to be the front of the stand. So this side really being the front of our stand. And there you are. The centerpiece is the mock uh, patio. The pillar and temptation kilometers up in the pot here. Well I hope you've enjoyed that. We'll, uh, we've been judged already today. Um, the judges were around this morning quite early on. Um, they spent around 15 minutes at, on the exhibit. Uh, so that I think is good news. Um, whether they were debating if it was good or if they didn't like it, we don't know. We will find out later. And of course tomorrow we'll be able to tell you the result and well we don't know what that's going to be but we'll see Tuesday morning what the result is and of course we'll be putting that online for you as well. Thanks very much for watching.